Hey everybody, I'm Henry Gordon Smith, and today we are at Little Leaf Farms in McAdoo, Pennsylvania. This is one of the most state-of-the-art greenhouses that I've ever seen, but today I'm going to be meeting with Matthew Meisel, Chief Development Officer, to talk about this, the product itself and the sustainability. How are you doing, Matthew? I'm doing great today, Henry. Thanks. Thanks for your time. Really appreciate it. Can you tell us a bit more about your role and how long you've been with Little Leaf? So I'm Little Leaf's Chief Development Officer. I've been here nine years and I've had a number of different roles here at Little Leaf. So everything from finance to helping out with operations, a little bit of technology evaluation. And today I work on our sustainability operations and also looking for the next sites for us to build and operate greenhouses. A man who wears many, many hats. I want to focus on sustainability and let's maybe frame it from first how you define sustainability here at Little Leaf. So sustainability is about doing the right things in terms of growing the crop. It's about creating a product that people ultimately want to eat, and it's about the resource efficiency of creating that product. Let's dive into that a little bit deeper. Why is growing a crop that people really want to eat an important part of sustainability? That's a sort of a unique perspective. So the operations that we have, they're relatively resource intensive, right? We are very proud of the sustainability um, infrastructure that we have built into the assets. We have very efficient lights. We capture all the rainwater off of our roof to give it to the crop. We have recirculating water systems, irrigation systems. We're very efficient in our fertilizer. But nevertheless, it takes a lot to grow tens of millions of pounds of lettuce per year. And we want to make sure that that product actually is eaten and enjoyed by consumers all across the country, because otherwise those resources have been all for naught. Yeah, I really like that perspective, right? You're building massive facilities. You've got equipment, embodied energy from that equipment. You've got all the operational considerations. But in the end, it's all about what goes into this product. How efficiently can you grow this product that people are going to love and keep coming back to because that keeps things sustainable? So we sort of started a little bit with planet, right? There's planet, people, profit, as far as the three pillars of sustainability. Is there anything else you want to share with us related to planet before we proceed onto the next one? Yeah, when ultimately, when you look at the footprint of what we're doing here, when you look at the resource intensity of the product, we are comparable to field product in terms of energy, um, the amount of energy it takes to, to create our product and deliver it to a consumer's plate is comparable to what's going on in California and Arizona field product right now. And of course, in terms of water efficiency, we are far more efficient than field product, especially field product that's grown in an arid environment. And these are, yeah, recirculating water systems. You're capturing the rainwater. And again, I just want to emphasize you're sourcing your renewable energy. We're sourcing renewable energy here in McAdoo. The energy, that, the electricity that we're using here is from renewable sources. And for our future builds, we're going to continue to do that as well. Okay, amazing. So let's continue on to people. Can you tell us about how Little Leaf is thinking about sustainability and people? I think the people who we work with here, me and my coworkers, we enjoy working here and we come here every day because we really like the mission, which is growing delicious product for lots of people and doing it in a very thoughtful and sustainable way, right? I don't think you can build a good culture and a good team without people who are really passionate about that mission. We all love um, whenever we hear from people we meet from our own friends that this is great product that people really enjoy and are really proud of how it's gotten to their dinner tables. And for us, that's a lot of what keeps us coming to work every day. Yeah. And I think it's also important for the audience to understand a little bit more about people coming to work, but these are year round jobs, right? It's not sort of a field farm where people come and then they have to figure out work for the rest of the year. That's an impact in itself, right? That CEA and your company provides is that they not only have meaningful work, but it's consistent work. Yeah, meaningful and consistent for the people who are hourly workers, they know what their schedules are going to be, right? This is a routine job. Every day is essentially the same because that's what the crop wants, right? The crop wants a routine environment where it's harvested at the same time every day, it's planted at the same time every day, it's packaged at the same time every day. And ultimately, that's good for our people too. They know what to expect coming into work every day. Very, very exciting. And sounds like a great sort of green job to have and a place to work. I met some of your team members. They all seem to really enjoy it and have all kinds of stories about the lessons and trainings they've gotten here. So let's move on to profit, this third pillar of sustainability. And, you know, can, what can you tell us about that? I mean, that is an important impact, right? If a company isn't making money, it's not sustainable. It can't make it. And we've seen that a lot in CEA, right? Companies talk a lot about their sustainability and then they're out of business and all that equipment, everything they built, all the jobs, it's all lost. So what do you have to say about profit at Little Leaf Farms? 
we've taken a really deliberate approach to how we've grown, right? We started at a small scale in Massachusetts and made sure that the unit economics worked before we grew larger, before we built bigger there and before we built bigger greenhouses in Pennsylvania. We're super thoughtful, and this is part of sustainability too, right, about the resources that go into the crop. Like the costs, we are very thoughtful about how we control them. But the productivity of the greenhouses has to be really good too, right? You have to generate enough lettuce, whatever the product is, in our case, lettuce per square foot per acre in order to be profitable. So we think between the design of our greenhouses, the way we operate them, the quality of the product and the productivity per square foot here that we've created a sustainable economic model too. And that's something that we're repeating here in Pennsylvania and beyond. Yeah, I mean, it's been great. I got to see the Massachusetts facility and this facility, just talking to Paul a little bit, is 15 to 20% more yield based on the technology. So you're getting more out of what you put into it. Again, going back to that resource point, that's obviously going to drive more profit. I think a lot of my audience really just wants to know because they see a lot of CEA bad news. Can I just ask you straight up, is, is Little Leaf a profitable company? Yes, we are a profitable company. The unit economics work. We, we, we invest a significant amount of capital to make to make the, to build these, you know, operations that work very well and are sustainable. And we make what we think is a fair return off of that. I think that's very exciting because you've got this incredible product that the consumers have really great online reviews and in-person reviews. I've heard about it. You're managing resources efficiently, taking care of people, and you're making money doing it, which is what we all want for this industry. We want some good news in this industry. So let's just wrap up with looking towards the future and sustainability. What are some of your thoughts about sustainability and CEA and some of the challenges and opportunities in that in the future? I think in the short term, in the medium term, there are opportunities for essentially every producer out there, including us, to continue to be more efficient in terms of the resources that go in, right? Continuing to find more efficient lighting and more efficient uses of water and more efficient uses of nutrients, but also continuing to improve climate systems and hydroponic systems to improve productivity, right? You got to work on both the inputs and the outputs. And I think there's a lot of optimization to be done. I mean, we look around here and we're very proud, as you said, the yield improvements uh, between our original facility and this facility here. But we think there's more that we can do on that front. Yeah, we spoke a little bit about scale too, right? You, like this is three, right now, currently three 10-acre uh, greenhouses essentially and a fourth one being built. So we're talking about a really big facility. We talked about some of the energy systems needed for that. that they don't make sense at a smaller scale. Can you share a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, there are, there are big things that in theory are possible for producers to do that are possible. Um, such as certain kinds of on-site generation, whether that's thermal or electric. But it's hard to imagine doing that at a small scale, right? If you're producing a million pounds a year at a facility, you don't have the scale to be able to invest into bigger energy technology, um, energy generation technology on your site. You really have to have a very significant scale on site in order to be able to do that. And so I think my own prediction is that in order for us to be able to implement that, us being the, the entire producer community, not just Little Leaf Farms, scale is an important part of that. Yeah, especially to tackle some of those energy sustainability questions that are harder if you're too small. Yeah. Well, thank you, Matthew, so much for your time. If you want to be part of the local food movement and support a sustainable company, check out Little Leaf Farms. They've got a range of leafy greens just for you. And as you heard, there's a lot of big benefits from it. Thanks for watching.